Every night in this community, there are people who go to bed hungry. Over 9,000 people in our community live below the poverty line. There are elderly folks and disabled people who have to make a choice every month. Do I buy food or do I buy the medicine I need? There are kids who, when there's no school in session, there's also no food in the house. If we're a follower of Jesus, Jesus is pretty direct with us about taking care of people who are hungry. In all three of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, we hear the story of Jesus teaching on a Judean hillside of thousands of women and children and men. It's been a long day. They're tired and hungry. The disciples come to Jesus and say, send them away. Jesus turns to his disciples and says, you give them something to eat. And what seemed impossible became possible when a few people shared what they had and it was blessed by Jesus. Bread of Life Feeding Ministries began in April of 2010 when they became a Mid-South Food Bank Agency. Since that time, the Bread of Life Ministry has distributed over 100 tons of food to folks in this community who don't get enough to eat. Each month, it takes over 150 volunteers to make the food happen, to make it get to the people who need it. Take a listen to just a few of those volunteers and why they do the work that they do. Our Venture Crew is part of the Boy Scouts of America. We have been volunteering here at the church in the food pantry since the food pantry began. The kids have gotten so much out of serving the people in this community. They love to volunteer. They love to see the impact that it has on the people that are so thankful that they get served by the food pantry and we meet their needs every month and these kids just love it and they get so much out of it and we're blessed to be a part of this community and this church. Um, I've been doing this since the first day. The first day we had 11 people and we thought oh my goodness gracious and it has grown and grown and grown and to me I remember one of the first Saturdays one of the patrons walked in and he sat down at the piano and I thought he was just resting. He started playing and he played Lean On Me. And everybody in the room started singing and I thought, you know, this is what it's all about. We all need somebody to lean on. We have God with us always, but we are so blessed when we're able to be the hands and feet of God. And we receive such blessings from our patrons. I noticed this morning, one of the gentlemen, he does this every Saturday he comes, brings wrapped candy and hands it out to the children there. And it, I don't know, it, it's just been such a blessing for us. And we love the people that come. And as I said, we receive a blessing from them. They share with us also. Well, the reason that I volunteer at this food bank is primarily because I've been very lucky my entire life. I've worked hard to get where I'm at, but I've been successful and I've never lived in poverty. My dad died when I was young, but everything, never really had any poor moments. So I just see all these people in need, desperate, and I feel like I have to do something, that it's just my duty to to do something to give back. And uh, one of the main things I do is carry groceries out to cars for people, which is rewarding in itself, because a lot of these folks, you really get to meet them and see them, and their the names to the faces and the numbers, and it's just a very rewarding thing to know that, that you're helping people. I do a lot of things differently in this food bank. Uh, Today I'm in the coat closet where I'm blessed to help people that need a coat. They can come in and get a coat one time per year per family member that are living with them. And it's, it's very interesting to get to know them a little bit. We distribute food four Saturdays each month. And on a Saturday morning, people start arriving as early as 7 a.m. to sign in for the food. 
they gather in a central area, either in Covington at First Methodist Church or in Brighton at a location there. But before the food distribution begins, we gather together, volunteers and those who come for the food, for a time of worship. We sing together, we pray together, prayer concerns are offered, praises are offered, the scripture is read, and a time of devotion takes place. It's a joyful occasion, and the gospel is communicated through this time. Over 450 families a month are fed at Bread of Life, not only physically, but spiritually as well. This ministry touches the lives of so many people in our community. I'd like to share with you just one special lady who has really touched our hearts, a sweet lady by the name of Mama Lou. Hear from her right now what this ministry has meant to her. My name is Rhonda Lucille Adams. I live here in Chipton County. And uh, I just want to thank God for this food program. It has truly been a blessing to me and my family. Not only to me and my family, it has been a blessing to the whole community. I want to thank uh, Pastor Phelps and the whole entire church family for what they're doing. And I just ask God to give them strength and let them keep on keeping on. And I hope everybody that come here appreciate it and give God some praises because it has truly been a blessing to us. Jesus calls us to care for one another and to share the good gifts that we've been given to ease the suffering of those around us. Bread of Life Ministries offers an opportunity for you to get involved and to share what God has given you with your neighbors. You're invited to get involved. Come and see what the body of Christ can do when we work together.